We all know it, that one book, movie, TV show, the one where the main character or someone else gets bullied, picked on, pushed around, publicly humiliated. The abuse is obvious and the audience wonders why the character puts up with it. At the end of the story, they stand up for themselves or someone else stands up for them. Someone is a hero and the bully gets put in their place. The character is like a whole new person. Happy, popular. Bullying is not that obvious. Hey guys, so we all agreed on McDonald's, right? Yeah. yeah. So we all decided on McDonald's at the same time. Well, Emily suggested it, and you all agreed. Well, Emily and I want McDonald's, but Alex and Jimmy want to talk about as we start deciding that. You guys know that I love Taco Bell. Why didn't you wait for me to put my say in? We could have split up. We had Taco Bell, we had McDonald's. Well, I didn't want Taco Bell. Oh, you wanted Taco Bell last week and I couldn't go with you guys. Hey guys, there's not enough space for me. Jimmy, Alex, let's scoot over so Sarah can fit. I'll be too squished. I do not want to be held accountable for accidental injuries from not being buckled in properly. Sarah, you took your car today, didn't you? Why don't you take your car and we could meet you at McDonald's? Okay, um, Jimmy, why don't you come with me so then Alex won't be squished? Oh, I'm not squished right now. Besides, all of us are already buckled in. Yeah, okay. I guess you're right. So then she said, why didn't she just ask me to prawn? And guess what I did after that? You grabbed that chicken and got some? Heh, no. I just stood there like an idiot. I mean, she's so, she's so beautiful. I mean, I just got tongue twisted, speechless. So you were chicken? I mean, damn, she's fine. Come on, I need your help. I would have just hooked up with her on the spot. Come on, man, are you listening? What you playing at letting a nice piece like that go to waste? What should I do? Hey, listen up, Jerk. You only need to do one thing. Hurt. Come on, man. This is serious. Look, man, I shouldn't have said that. But it's not my fault. You're a wuss. What are you getting so butt hurt about? Just a girl. Plenty more you get hit on. Yeah, well, this one matters to me, man. And you matter to me, Josh. I just don't want her to take you away from me. I care about how you feel for this girl. I'll help you. Really? No, I don't give a crap about this girl. Let's forget about her. Come on, let's have some fun. You see the game Sunday? Instagram? No makeup. Just wanted to show off the real me. Oh, look, a comment. Are you feeling okay? You look sick. Not sick. I'm just not wearing makeup. Uh, 
Oh, now I understand why you always wear makeup, lol. Oh well, because my face makes you want to laugh, right? <sighs> If I have any more comments, a lot more actually. Hmm. You are gorgeous. I wish I were as confident as you. You are beautiful. Stay just the way you are. You cover up your face. Those circles under your eyes have really come around. Your eyes look so much smaller. You look like a skeleton, sweetie. Well, you didn't like me without makeup, so let's try this again. How do you like me now? Ready? Coming. You're stunning. Damn, girl, you're so hot. Hashtag perfection. Okay, your face is too covered up. Too many people hating on you, so you go and change your look. Hashtag fail. You have a bit too much foundation and lipstick on. You look like a clown, maybe? Bullying is subtle. Sometimes you have to look for it. Sometimes it's hiding in plain sight. Most of the time, the victim can't do anything about it. Most of the time, the victim doesn't know what's happening. The victim doesn't always get a happy ending. The question is... The question is... The question is... What will you do to stop bullying?